So um, today I'm going to talk about uh, security at a high level and then uh, we'll go deep uh, deep dive into the cluster. So security is a very big concern and it's a very big, uh, it's a big thing whenever it comes to any environment or any application, right, or any platform. And especially with um, Kubernetes and with container management, it has to be enforced at multiple places. So let's take a look at this, right? So uh, you start with your code. When you are coding and then you are in the case of the container management, uh, the output is a image that image is pushed to the image repo there are many image repos like artifactory you can have dtr ecr and many of them right they're all container registries where the images can be pushed so the first thing is a static scan so a scan can be done at the image repo level which will be a static scan which means as soon as the image gets pushed into the repo an automatic scan will start and it will check the image for based on which kind of you know a tool or product you're using it can scan the image for uh, in each layer if it can scan for any vulnerabilities and based on the vulnerabilities uh, you can uh, set up assurance policies which means that okay if uh, my image doesn't have any criticals or majors then only it can pass it can be passed to the next stage which is the cd the deployment which can be done by either um, Jenkins or Bamboo or whatever uh, Git or whatever you're using for Git, uh, you know deployment. But the first stage for security of the image is in the image scanning. And the next is when the deployment starts, right? So the deployment is completed with the, with the management plane. It will deploy your uh, containers. So the container, if you see, so these are the worker nodes, and they are the these are the the container is in a pod, right? So the container is sitting inside and at that point another security that comes into picture is the runtime scan so what is a runtime scan versus a static scan static scan can only scan for certain things in the image it can check uh, on the docker file uh, certain features like um, if uh, if the uh, image uh, has any criticals or if the permissions of if the container doesn't run as root, it can check all that stuff from the Docker file. But there are a lot of things that it cannot uh, detect and that has to be caught at the runtime scan. So runtime scans are important. And if you see most of the time, the vendor, the products are that every, their agents will run as a daemon set. That means one agent runs on every worker node and it scans for all the pods and gets the details of everything running on that particular node. So what it will be scanning for is like if a container is making from the pod any external egress connections to outside to certain websites or ports which are not allowed by by the company, you know, they are in the in the blacklist. So it can detect that. It can also detect if it's making any any connections, you know, outside the within uh, within the specified network if it's going outside that. It can detect that. So in addition to that, a lot of other features that comes as out of the box and then a lot of uh, products support are uh, uh, specifics to um, profiling, right? Like providing the controls that apply like to the image. So like firewalls and also user based control, you know, they can be fine grained controls, which will enforce certain kind of privileges at the container level. So when it's running in the uh, development or production or any environment, there has to be some kind of a uh, role where it's running. And if it's, it's crossing that, then uh, the tool can detect it. Uh, similarly, the host can also be scanned for any vulnerabilities or any, you know, if somebody's trying to log in. So these agents which run on the nodes can detect that. Uh, so these are uh, some of the basic things that should be caught, right? So networking and then monitoring and then if anything is being uh, 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 run on the node itself, you know, that's making uh, any, any calls out to outside. Um, especially and then other things are like port scanning, right? So some uh, tools also enable uh, something called port scanning, which means it can detect the uh, inside the container what ports are it 
it using so if it's if there is any anything outside the policy or malware it can be detected similarly it can also check uh, what are the volumes right so um, sometimes when you use persistent volumes pvcs pv on your part uh, it can also the, the it can list all those volumes and whatever uh, you can set the policy to check if anything is mounted which is not supposed to be mounted Similarly, access privileges can be controlled, you know, like access to the host network or, con or the container running as root. So these are can be detected. And this is, it's where that get, get, gets reported and it can be alerted. So as soon as it sees something, it will alert or it can even uh, stop or kill the container or the pod. So this lower piece in my diagram is basically for security that can be enforced by using an external tool uh, many tools are available like um, stack rocks is, is there twist lock is there um, so there are multiple you know uh, tools out there and another piece of security is that when a live and when a user is connecting uh, to your net to your services so the pods are running and the service uh, is the endpoint of the service right so the connection from a user browser first hits the load balancer it is all https tls right now load balancer can be a pass through most of the time if it's it's a pass through because you want to enforce the uh, tls until your ingress proxy so it can it uh, so now when it hits the ingress proxy you can enable the certs over here so that because you're inside your cluster everything is um uh, TLS, you know, especially if you're using service mesh and all the services that you implement are anyway going to be cluster IP, which means that they're only available. So the endpoints are not available outside. So it's an internal network. It cannot be accessed from outside. So that gives a big uh, security uh, that makes it secure proof uh, because you don't even have a, so and so node ports should never be used because then it will expose the port from each node and some of the security scans that run in the organizations, it catches anything that's running on a port, you know, because that's not allowed. So, and then the management plan itself has everything encrypted inside, like all the data in etcd is encrypted. And additional encryption, like for secrets, and can be enforced by uh, various tools and products, right? Like Kubernetes encryption of secrets can do that. So these are the key items in the security when you're setting up a cluster uh, that need to be uh, that need to be in, in your mind before you're going to set it up because that um, that is very important. Okay, so let's look at an image. So I have an image from Google. Uh, it's just a Istio Hello server. So if you see, I just did a Docker history on it, and you can see all the layers that image has. So if I look at this image, and if I and so if I, we use a tool to scan it, so this um, image I just uh, pasted the URL. So that's the image. It has all the details, right? The manifest with multiple layers on it, right? And then the important thing is like now I don't have the. Ideally, I should be able to see over here the vulnerabilities because for that i have to enable the artifact piece the registry artifact the the new that they have so that then but then and then if you have it it will actually show exactly like this how many vulnerabilities are there and then if you click on that it will give you the details on the severity and also what's the fix so most of the time a fix will be like you have to patch it or upgrade a particular library or download a library upgrade a particular version so then it um, and then rescan it so then if you clean that up and then you push it again and to rescan it and then this goes down so that's how uh, you know uh, so this is the new the tool they have artifact registry so you had to register and pay for it so i didn't do that but basically this is so then i can have my own uh, my images pushed to my own um, uh, project so i can have a google project and then I can, you know, like uh, push my own images and then I can see they're being scanned and I can see the results and clean them up. 